Hey guys, welcome back to Tismania TV. Surprise, surprise, I have yet another bot modification update for you. And I think maybe the next video might be a bot mod video as well, because I'm getting some tattoos done. I was hoping to include both sessions uh, in this video, but uh, I have the second appointment tomorrow and it was just postponed until later. And I don't want to wait to post this video, so I'm just going to divide it into two videos. So the uh, idea is to do my pits and tits, <laughs> and I've already done my armpits. So that is what we're going to talk about in today's video. So the titty tattoo video is going to have to wait until I've actually gotten them done. By the way, if my teeth look weird, I'm going through a bleaching phase, and I'm only bleaching the bottom ones at the moment, so they are a lot whiter than my upper teeth, in case you're wondering. So my upper body is starting to fill up with tattoos, which I'm very pleased with. Uh, I have some larger spots left on my legs, which I look forward to getting to next. Um, but the fact that my armpits were big, gaping, empty canvases, <laughs> and the fact that my tits were, um, kind of bothered me for a while. So yeah, that's why I'm getting these areas done. And I, I mean, obviously because it looks nice and because I want to get tattoos freaking everywhere, pretty much. Surprise, surprise, more spider webs. <laughs> I do love spider webs. They're such a good filler tattoo, because you can adapt it to kind of any, any space. You guys know that I have a bunch of them, like, on my arms. So I figured why not get them in my armpits. And the tattoo artist who did the spider webs on my arms is also the one who did them in my pits. And his name is Nelson Hardy. And I'll put the Instagram information for him right here somewhere. So you can go check him out. And uh, yeah, so this is what they look like. It's been six days since I got them and they are healing well. I'm not allowed to wear the odor until they're healed, so I'm a stanky hoe right now, which is like the most annoying part of this entire experience, to be honest. But uh, other than that, the healing has been fine. Getting them done, uh, we use numbing cream, obviously I'm going to do that for the tits as well, because you guys know with my neck and I need to not tense up and stuff. I put the numbing cream on, I wrap the plastic seagull around and then I let it sit for like 90 minutes or so. Um, I was at the tattoo artist for four hours in total for the armpits, but um, like actual active tattoo time was three hours maybe, so like 90 minutes per pit, so to speak. And the numbing cream worked fantastic at first. It, it always does, I love it. But then once he had gone over everything, he needed to go back and correct the lines, like thicken them up, I guess, or even them out or something like that. And when you go over a line that you've gone over before, the numbing cream doesn't take anymore. So for that, I had to feel everything, full sensation. And that was painful, let me tell you. So uh, yeah, if you're considering getting your pits tattooed, I do recommend using numbing cream because that made it a lot easier. I don't know if I could have taken three hours of non-numbed armpit tattoos. That would have been torture, <laughs> pretty much. Um, so we did this side first, and then we did this side, and they're not exactly the same. Uh, he had a basic shape, but then like adjusted to what else I have around the body. This one uh, doesn't go down as far. This one had more space, so it goes down a little bit. And I don't need my tattoos to be super symmetrical. It doesn't matter because I have a lot of different stuff. So uh, yeah, absolutely love them. <laughs> yeah, so when we started working on the uh, second armpit, the uh, the numbing cream was working all the while while he was tattooing the first one, which is the way I like to do it when you're doing both in one setting. And yeah, same thing, numbing cream worked great for the first round going over all the areas, but then when he went back to fix some of the lines, I felt everything and it was awful. And when you've been tattooed for a couple of hours, you don't have a lot of power left in your body to kind of withstand the pain, so you feel it a lot more towards the end. And yeah, it got really painful at the end. I, I almost cried. It was really bad at one point. I was like, I don't think I can take it anymore. And he was like, oh, I can stop and you can come back. And I was like, no, I want to have this done. I don't want to come back and have to numb this shit all over again. No, I wanted to have it done. So I tried to like breathe and he kept talking, which is good. Like it distracts me. I really like a chatty tattoo artist. And when they play music, that's good. I can't stand it being silent. So we were just like, blah, 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 the whole session. He's a great guy, by the way. So this one was a lot worse pain-wise because of that, because my body was more sensitive to the pain and stuff. But uh, yeah, 
it was, it hurts, but you, I mean, it's temporary, so you, you survive it, you can handle it. Um, but yeah, I really do recommend using numbing cream. So after that, he kind of tried to wrap it in plastic, which was tricky. So I, my husband helped me rewrap it for the night because I wanted to sleep with them um, wrapped for the first night. And then I washed them off the next night. And then I gotta say, the healing has been so great with these tattoos. They're, they haven't been, like I dry heal. Um, once a day or once every two days, I put on this cream. It's called Helosan. We have it here in Sweden. It's like a fatty skin cream, uh, which is not specifically for tattoos, but it's what I've been using for all of my tattoos. Instead, I put it on like once every two days and then just leave it dry in between. And that has worked great. They're not itchy at all. And they're almost healed. Not, not. There's a couple like little where you can feel where there's stuff that's going to fall off. Uh, like scabs But other than that, it's pretty much healed. So very fast healing time What I don't know at this point obviously is something that some of you guys have asked about and it is uh, How this is gonna heal like in the long term because this is a area with a lot of friction You move your arms a lot. So the skin is gonna rub against itself a lot So this might not be a, a tattoo that looks great in five years we don't know, and I can't answer that for you right now. Um, if you're out there and you have armpit tattoos and you know about this, maybe leave in the comments so some of my followers can get the answer to that question. But other than that, you're gonna have to follow me and I'll update you. So we'll see about these. I hope they last because I don't wanna touch all my stupid armpits because it hurts so bad, but yeah, we will see. And I love them so much and I can't wait to get my titties tattooed. I think that was it for this video. If you have any more questions about getting your armpits tattooed, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, do no harm, but take no shits. I'll see you next time.